Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my October 2023 book haul. I just have one book to show you. This arrived in the post today. Dane reads. This old chunk it is The Book of Martyrdom and Artifice by Allen Ginsberg. First journals and poems, 1937 to 1952, uh, with over 50 of Ginsberg's earliest poems never before published. So that's very excited, exciting even. Childhood in New Jersey, Columbia College. A Peter Orlovsky in the memory of Allen Ginsberg, very beautiful. Copyright the Allen Ginsberg Trust, this came out after he died. Hello, people of the internet. A few books to haul for you. So I picked up How To Be A Cat by Matt Haig from the local book exchange at Morrison's, which is a supermarket by me. I'm slowly but surely working my way through all of Matt Haig's stuff. And this is aimed at kids, which is good. And I mean, well, it's about somebody wakes up as a cat tomorrow. It's basically uh, The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, I guess, but with a cat and aimed at children. Um, but yes, it was a fortuitous find because as I spotted it, I'm hopefully, well maybe I might be getting another cat, we will see. And Shay's looking at getting a cat as well, so it seemed like the gods were speaking to me. Especially because, as I say, I've been trying to, I would have picked it up anyway, I'm trying to get all of Matt Haig stuff. So. Then, I got a bunch of David Attenborough. There's a story behind this. These are these are heavy, so I'm only going to pick a few up at once, but um, yeah, I ordered these online and the guy who I bought them from accidentally sent me the wrong item. He sent me a Martian Manhunter figurine, which is apparently from DC Comics. I don't know, I, I don't do comics. But anyway, the person that ordered that got my books and I got their things, so we're sending them to each other. I've now received my books, so I got uh, David Attenborough, Life on Earth. David Attenborough, Life on Air. Uh, then we got David Attenborough. The Life of Birds, David Attenborough, The Trials of Life, and David Attenborough, The First Eden. Um, so I do actually have a couple of these, um, so I need to add those to Goodreads to figure out which ones I've got and which ones, you know, which ones I'm going to sell on, which ones I'm keeping. Um, but you know, you know, I got them as a job lot, so they were pretty cheap, and I'm happy with that because I'm all about the cheapness. Hello everybody, just the one book to hold for you today. This was, funny enough, it was at the uh, charity book exchange at my bank. Um, and it is David Attenborough, The Life of Mammals. So you all know that I've recently come into a possession of about five or six David Attenborough books. This is one of the ones that I didn't have, so it's nice to pick this up for two pounds with all of the money going to charity. So, yes. Alrighty, uh, Hawley people. I got a book in the post, very exciting one. This is The Selected Letters of Allen Ginsberg and Gary Schneider, edited by Mil Bill Morgan. Uh, looks like this came from East Baton Rouge Parish Library. And uh, yeah, I'm slowly but surely working my way through all, all of the Ginsberg that I have left. And this is one of the few that I, I haven't read yet, so very exciting. Yo, um, I have one book that arrived in the post today and I've already started reading it because I, I literally picked it up out of the post just as I was heading off to the gym uh, and I've been reading at the gym. So this is The Silver Princess in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. It is the latest Wizard of Oz book. Uh, number 32 in the series. So I've, I've, I've made a good dent in the series, suffice to say. Hello, I've got a few books to show you guys. So I won a job lot on eBay of Aldous Huxley books. We have three novels here. I haven't read any of these. Uh, this includes Point Counterpoint, which is probably his most famous novel. Um, his most famous book is probably The Doors of Perception. But I also got Eilis in Gaza and Island. I don't know anything about any of these books, just that they're Aldous Huxley and I eventually want to read through all of my Huxley. And speaking of completionism, um, I got the last Allen Ginsberg book on my list. So this is, and it's a beast. Collected Poems 1947 to 1997 by Allen Ginsberg. This book is 1,178 pages long. And it's just all of Allen Ginsberg's poems. Now I have read a good like chunk of these. Um, but still, I mean, I wonder if it says... Yeah, so it's separated out by the book titles, so I'll actually be able to skip through this a little bit by double checking, um, double checking whether I've read the books that are mentioned, you know? So like The Green Automobile, I haven't read that. So yes, very interesting little book here. It's going to be, I say little, one of the biggest books that I've ever read. But once I've read that, I'll have read all of Ginsberg, assuming that I read my other Ginsbergs first. I have a lot of his letters and stuff, so, you know. 
but I'll get there. Alrighty folks, just the one book to haul for you today, and uh, this is one that I saw mentioned on, I believe it was on a Final Blow Joe's channel, big Discord fan over there, and he had read uh, Terry Pratchett, A Life with Footnotes by Rob Wilkins, so this is the official biography of Terry Pratchett, written by Rob Wilkins, who worked very closely with the great man himself, um, I'm obviously a huge Pratchett fan, uh, I've read pretty much everything that uh, he ever published. And so, yes, I had to pick this up and I'm looking forward to reading it. Alrighty, folks. Well, that's all of the books that I received in the month of uh, October. So thanks, as always, for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.